What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, and share the video, like it and all that good stuff, right? It helps me grow. And let's grow this community, guys. Like, uh, it's I'm not always going to be in this setup here. As soon as shit opens up here in my area, I got the the green light from my um, from my coach, right, from my judo coach, to start filming in my dojo. So I'll be able to, uh, you know, answer more videos, show you guys a little bit of technique stuff that I'm working on. Obviously, I can't I can't show you everything because some of this stuff is uh, keep secret so I could win in competition. All that to say that you know, uh, join me on this journey, and uh, thanks for all of you guys who've, who've, uh, who've been here uh, since the start. Cauliflower ears. Uh, this is a question from one of the guys in the in the community, of course. I forgot the name, sorry. It's something Anas, I believe. But anyways, you, this video is for you. How to prevent cauliflower ears when you know training, um, of course, uh, jujitsu or, or judo or even wrestling. The 100% thing that will guarantee that you do not get cauliflower ears is ear guards. Ear guards is what's going to protect your ears, you know? Uh, I know they might be a little bit uncomfortable, but you get used to it, and, and that's the 100%, that's the foolproof way. There's no way you get in cauliflower ears if you have uh, ear guards. What happens if you forgot your ear guards? That could happen. Sometimes you could decide to roll or you don't feel like wearing them for whatever reason, you got lazy. There's a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. There's actually a genetic component to this. Some people are more prone to getting, you know, cauliflower ears than others. Now, how do you know this? It's actually kind of funny. The more flexible, let me come in close here, but my ears are very malleable, very flexible. The more flexible your ears are, okay, the less chances of you getting cauliflower ears. If your ears are like smaller than mine's, and kind of like tightly cropped, right? Then when there's impact on them, they're not, they're not as flexible. So they get, they get more of a pounding and then it fucking swells up. If I was an ass and I, I didn't know what I was doing and I was taught this by my jujitsu, my first jujitsu coach, I still got like a little, a little bump here in my ear. Yeah, I can't see it there, but anyways, right here on top, it got hard and I got scared, right? But for the most part, if you have flexible ears, okay? Like the rubbing won't be as bad. If you constantly smash your ear into the air person, put pressure and, and friction on it because you're trying to go for a takedown, or if you're pulling your head out of a guillotine, of a triangle, or just rubbing against the damn gi, right? Or just smashing your ear, rubbing against the gi while on it, trying to pass the guard or doing a takedown, or if you, do takedowns, even in wrestling, if, even if there's no, there's no gi. If you constantly smash your ear and put push with your, the side of your head like this with your ear, you're gonna fuck up your ears. Oops, I just cursed. If you uh, do not want to have cauliflower ears, first option is ear guard, that's the best one. Guarantees you won't have any if you use it all the time. But the problem is not everybody uses it all the time. Um, the ones who, who really don't want cauliflower ears because of, uh, you know, they, they, they need their presentation to be intact, you know, their ears. Cause you know, if you have like big ears like that, it's noticeable. People look at you and they're like, yeah. The other two things that you have to be aware of is ear flexibility. The more flexible your ears, okay, the less chance of you getting cauliflower ears. Now, um, that doesn't mean you can't get it though. You can, if, you're, if you do crazy stuff. When you do takedowns, you don't wanna be constantly smashing your ear against a hard surface, like a hip bone or, or you know any any kind of type of surface on the other guy's body, right? Especially and then like grind it out, grind it out like this, like just you know. So you don't want to be doing that if you're working with a um, you're doing BJJ or judo with a gi. You don't want to be ripping your head out. You don't want to be once again the side of your head, which that's where your ear is, to be pushing all the time. That's one. You don't want to be pulling your head out out of triangles when you're caught. If you're caught, just tap, let it go. Don't just yank your head out because that's gonna that's gonna blow up your ears. And when you get caught in uh, also guillotines, when you get caught in a guillotine, I mean, if the guy's wearing a gi and you try to pull out, it causes a lot of friction on your ears. So that's the way you avoid um, cauliflower ears. Now I should make another video at one point uh, regarding how to drain the ear, but I've never actually drained it. Like, but there's techniques on how to do it properly and how to do it so that after that, it doesn't become hard. You actually have to compress it. Anyways, another video. That's it for this one, guys. I hope it made sense. And um, yeah, keep your questions coming. 
If you guys have, uh, if the OGs in here in the community have any suggestions, other suggestions on top of this one, comments guys. Thank you very much. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.